So welcome to Teesside and uh, four or five of the most important seats in this uh, general election. Absolutely crucial seats. And the questions are these. Can the Conservative Party hold on to the thin marginal seat it's got? Can the Conservative Party do better and win in a couple of Labour marginals? Um, what effect will the Brexit Party have? It had hoped to take a seat here as well. And finally, um, is this whole area, this staunchly Labour area, falling out of love with the Labour Party? Middlesbrough, that's the faux Gothic town hall in the background that you can see. Uh, the constituency, solidly Labour, always has been. Um, since time immemorial, since the Labour Party existed, held at the moment by Andy Macdonald, uh, front bencher uh, for the Corbyn uh, shadow cabinet, uh, with a huge majority. But things are happening. In the council elections last May, uh, Labour lost control of Middlesbrough Council, uh, and the independents now have a majority on Middlesbrough Council. And there's an independent guy running against. Uh, Andy Macdonald as well. Now, will he shift some votes from Andy Macdonald? He's a former Labour guy himself. Will it be enough to give the Tories a win here? It would be a very, very tall order. I'm from a working class background. I'm from a, an, an old school council estate area. We only ever knew to vote Labour. It was, yeah. it was a part of your upbringing. Do you know, yes, you, that's exactly you, right. You yeah. turned 18, you were given a pint, and, and you were told that this is your sort of yeah. political persuasion. But we, we've, Middlesbrough is a different place now, and we're seeing a shift in that mentality. Labour lost more seats in Middlesbrough than I believe anywhere else in the in the local elections. That's incredible. And that that's is incredible. That's because people in Middlesbrough are starting to wake to the, the, the need of, of, of ensuring they get it right politically for the town. Middlesbrough is the most deprived town in the UK. We have had major issues with our transport and we've been yeah. fighting to pull stuff into the public domain. We've had shocking statistics coming out from our sort of policing and, and Cleveland police and the issues around that. We've had CQC reporting to our NHS services that have highlighted some significant issues, mainly around investment and, and the lack of support. And to think that in three and a half years, whilst all this is going on in Middlesbrough, Andy Macdonald hasn't mentioned Middlesbrough in Parliament, for me is utterly disgraceful. I, I, I'm, I'm actually quite embarrassed for him to, 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 to know that he hasn't mentioned Middlesbrough in, in Parliament. So this is Saltburn, Middlesbrough, South and East Cleveland, with its tiny, tiny majority, 120 or so, of Conservatives over Labour. Can Labour take this back? Can the Conservatives hold on to it? If the Conservatives lose it, they're in big trouble. It's a big constituency. I think this is too close to call. I don't think this is certain uh, a certain Conservative uh, uh, gain, um, a hold rather, at all. Uh, it's an interesting and topsy-turvy election, this one. Is it really Tory? Yeah. So it's it's a brave it's a brave new world. We obviously have to scrap hard because it's Middlesbrough South and East Cleveland, but it's the tide Which has is moving been a our bit way. Swingish. It has in the past. Yeah, it has actually. Um, I mean, right through the eighties, it was a Tory seat. But of course, that's right. This goes to your point about the uh, the electoral geography. That whereas yeah. in the eighties, Saltburn would have been rock solid blue it would, and this would yes. have been rock solid red yes it's changed, it's changed so you know. it is it is as we've been saying all the way through this piece this is a world turned upside down in a way it is it? that your uh, this estate which is uh park end yeah. uh overdale road would have been solidly labor yeah even uh, 10 years ago actually. even 10 years ago yeah what i will say there is that it, it is absolutely something that people want to see right it's about yeah. investing in local infrastructure saving the airport regenerating the steelworks site it's a can-do mentality and the local dividing line here is positivity against negativity labor frankly only talk the area down and people yes, are bored of and it. always have yeah and the, and the, the core message on every door is if you want brexit done there really is only one way to vote, and that's for the Conservatives. Get this done. But, uh, it's only when you get older and you start thinking about life 
and the way things have, have developed, you go, hang on a minute. And the more I read about Corbyn, I can't stand the bloke. No, he's appalling. Oh, I, I, I fucking hate him. You know, I, I, I sort of look at what he's doing. What, where's all this, this free Wi-Fi? We can't even get fucking Wi-Fi here. No. It's going to give no. free Wi-Fi to who? Are you going to bother voting? I'm going to, I'm going to vote for Boris because, that, Boris because I think he needs a... He, uh, we have to give him a chance. He's only been there a couple of weeks, so people are slating him all the time. We Give him a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see what he can do. Your family would have been Labour uh, back... We were uh, Labour like Middlesbrough's th always been Labour. Labour through and through. We didn't look anywhere else because we thought Labour, we are Labourers, 24 hours, yeah. we're Labourers. We, 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 we didn't know the ins and outs of politics, but we were Labour because that's what we do, we're Labourers. And uh, we didn't look, we, it was always for the working man, you know, they, they're looking after us. But then they stopped looking after us. Because uh, you ask any man in, in the street here about politics now, we'll go, you, a lot of them won't, won't vote anymore because That's of Brexit. True. What have you got if you've got Jeremy Corbyn, Boris Johnson in the left and Dolly Parton got in? You've got two massive tits and a country and western singer. <laughs> So the Stockton South constituency straddling two counties, um, Durham up there, Yorkshire back here. Uh, just coming into Yarm, uh, the posh bit of the constituency, there's Thornaby, the grittier working class bit, uh, and a new housing estate, well, I say new, quite old now, uh, at Ingleby Barwick, a vast, vast uh, private estate. Uh, the thing is, if the Conservatives are going to form a majority, they have to win Stockton South. You can get Stockton South to vote Tory, but, uh, which it's done many times before, but can you get it to vote for Boris? That's the, because doesn't the tough thing play out a bit up here? We knock on door after door and everybody's talking about Brexit yeah. and Boris is the answer to Brexit. Um, one door step at a time. Everybody is talking about Brexit. The people who voted to remain are sick of it. They want it done. They want it over. Uh, the people who voted to leave feel cheated. They want it over. Everybody wants it done so we can get on with the more important things that matter in the country. These seats tend to declare very early. So you'll know uh, on election night when Stockton South declares whether Boris Johnson's going to have a majority or not. 